Hey chatters, I want to do a quick video on the recently released open weights model from OpenAI they're calling OSS. They have two versions, like a small and a large version, and I thought it's a really good time to get you into how do I use local large language models. A problem I'm hearing from a lot of people is I don't want to be using ChatGPT or Gemini or whatever and I'm giving it sort of personal information. Recently, you probably saw that Google was indexing shared OpenAI conversations. So especially if you're working in a small business and you A, don't wanna pay for these models and B, you're really worried about data privacy, it's very important that you know how to actually use these models on your computer. So you can actually download it locally. It's not going off into the internet anywhere. It's all right there locally. And obviously nothing you say in that situation is gonna be used to train. It's not gonna get released unless you like physically put it up online somewhere. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to download something that's gonna allow you to download models that are open sourced or open weight, and then use those models for whatever you need them for using this new model from OpenAI. Let's do it. There are many, many different applications you can download to use local models. One of the more popular ones is Olama, but the one that I like the best is this one called LM Studio. If you want though, there's other ones like Misty and there's a bunch. You can just Google open model provider download, something like that. But let's start and do LM Studio because this is one of the easiest to use. So you want to come to their website. If you have a Windows, at least as of recording this, they have the download right there. If not, you just want to go to their downloads page. You can see here, it's just slash download. You can choose Mac, Windows, or Linux, whatever you are. Click download and then just follow the instructions, right, for getting it up and running on your computer. Once you have it downloaded and opened, you want to make sure you go to this discover button and it'll bring up a nice little search and you're gonna look up OpenAI and you should find this model right here. I'm gonna start downloading and then as it's downloading, we're gonna talk a little bit about some things you need to be thinking about. So first of all, these models take a lot of, not just energy, but thinking, right, to run on your computer. That means you need a lot of RAM or something called VRAM, which is what GPUs provide. So you're gonna either want really high RAM something like 64 gigabytes and your and or you're going to want some VRAM, a GPU in your computer with at least 8 gigabytes to be running these models. Now obviously you can pick models that are much smaller and they'll run on just about anything. When we look at model sizes, you're going to see something like a 20 and a B, some number in B. You want to think of this as the higher the number, the more parameters, the more connections, the smarter it's going to be but that also means the more compute it's gonna need to run. So something like a 20B model, I have about 24 gigabytes of VRAM. I have about 64 gigabytes of normal RAM. This should run no problem for me, but if you're pretty low, like you only have 16 gigabytes of RAM and no VRAM, you're gonna to have to go with a smaller model. You can also take into account if you have a Mac or some of the new PCs, there is a new type of memory that is evolving which is this integrated memory. And these are built specifically for running these large language models. Lucky for us and LM Studio, one reason I like it is it's actually gonna tell you how much can you offload to your GPU? Will this actually run on your computer? So it's gonna look at the stats in your computer and let you know, hey, you actually are not gonna be able to run this or it's gonna be stupid slow. So keep that in mind. If this model in particular is too big for you, Look for a model that is 3 billion parameters or 7 billion parameters and try that. I would highly recommend the Mistral models for this, but there are like a bajillion models at this point. So best to just experiment, Google kind of what models are best for what. So now we have the model downloaded. You're probably going to see something pop up where you can load the model. If we come into the My Models folder, you're going to see we have it there now. So let's ho hop over to the chat and load this model up and start talking to it. So you wanna come to this chat button in the left and then we're gonna come up here and select our model. I'll click OpenAI's GPTOS. You can see here, this is a reasoning model 
And so I can actually say how much I want it to reason. So if I open this up, we have low, medium, high. We'll keep it low for this demonstration. And then we also have some tools we can give it. I'm not going to get into this, but the idea is you can give it tools like, for example, a tool that allows it to check the weather, something like that. We can also upload and attach files that it can use as reference, just like any other large language model you might be using. A couple more things I want to mention is we can play with some of the settings. So if we come up here to the wrench up top, we can give it a system prompt. If we go to the model, we can change some settings like the temperature, all these other things don't really matter. The idea being though, you can really have full control. And then again, you can give it some integration, some tools that you wanted to use. So let's try it out. I'm gonna give it this prompt, write me a short two paragraph email to my viewers, chatters about how much I appreciate them. And we'll hit send. So again, this is a thinking model. So you can see it's separated the thinking. <laughs> this is a very low reasoning effort, obviously. And so now it's written a nice little email to you guys. Thank you so much. So now let's turn up the reasoning effort. Let's go to high and we're going to say, make it rhyme. And now we should see that you can see that it's thinking significantly more. It's writing <laughs> stuff that is much longer than the actual email itself that'll actually come out. And so as this is going, it'll finally finish up. Just to mention, we have a few other options down here in your chat. So this is to regenerate what it's doing. This is to continue the assistant message. So maybe we want it to keep talking. Maybe it only made it partway through its output. The branching of the conversation. So in other words, if like you want to try some experimentation, like what happens if I ask it this way? What happens if I ask it that way? We can copy the message. We can edit the message that was output by either you or the LLM, or we can just delete it. So we'll end this video on our rhyme here. So thank you, Rhyme, for my amazing chatters. Hey, chatters, you're the spark that lights my stream. Your cheers and memes keep my heart in a gleam. Every ping and laugh turns ordinary into bright. You make our little corner feel just right. I'm grateful for your patience when tech gets tense, for staying through long sessions with pure sense. Together we'll grow this bond forever strong. Thank you for being the crew that keeps us moving along. So that's it for this video, chatters. Definitely check out LM Studio or any of the other providers like this. Figure out how much workload your computer can take. And if you don't know, just leave something in the comments. I'll do my best to help you out. And go local. Start experimenting, especially if you can't afford the models or you're doing just like typical everyday things where you don't need any sort of like really advanced thinking. For example, like if you're doing coding, you probably want to be using the most advanced models. If you're just like writing project plans or emails like we were doing, you probably don't need the most advanced model. So let me know how it goes and I'm excited to see how you use these open source models.